If you laugh, you think, and you cry, that's a full day. That's a heck of a day. We'll have to tell yeah. you which songs are inspired by your wine, like which songs were written while indulging. Oh, I, I don't think I'll ever forget, David, you saying, be your best champion. All right, let's have some fun. Yeah. To next year. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's beautiful Wagyu short rib. We're gonna just coat it in the Yemenite spice. I'm like, it's it's Saint Steel. Saint Steel's coming, and he's like, if it's Saint Steel, just ride it for free. I'm like, <laughs> join us as we savor world class wine, experience culinary adventures, and discover inspiring stories from our dedicated community of vintners, chefs, artisans, and beyond as we go behind the V. Hi, everyone. I'm Ellie, and welcome to Behind the V. On today's segment, I'm honored to be joined by owner of Ebony and Jet Magazine, Chief Marketing Officer for Mana Inc., and Board Member and Program Director for Bridgman Charitable, Charitable Group, Mrs. Eden Bridgman. Hi, AJ. Hi. How are you, Eden? It's I'm so good to have you with us today. Yeah, I'm so honored to, to chat with you and, and be here. So thank you. Absolutely. I see you're all decked out in your Ebony swag today. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, we we want the brand to be everywhere, so we had to quickly get our hands on some apparel um, so that you know when we are out in the community talking, um, not only what we say, obviously, but just kind of seeing us, you know, proudly wearing um, such an iconic brand. So, absolutely, I love it. You'll have to get some of the swag out here to the West Coast, and we can help rip you out here. Oh, we have plans. We have plans for a full, full e-commerce launch. So yes. Oh, that's so exciting. Well, obviously today we're bringing you on to talk about the Trifecta Gala. Uh, as a board member and program director for Bridgman Charitable Group, you produce the Trifecta Gala each year, which is a black tie event that happens on the eve of the Kentucky Derby each year. Uh, we are completely honored that you guys have selected the V Foundation to be one of the benefiting charities of this event. Um, we are absolutely, we love being partnered with it. It's something we look forward to, obviously, each year. Uh, can you let us know a little bit more about the Trifecta Gala, how it was created, and the history behind it? Absolutely. So, you know, growing up in Louisville, Kentucky, um, the Kentucky Derby obviously was what your year kind of centered around. You knew as a kid, kind of school was coming to a close with it always being the first Saturday in May. Um, to as you got older, you knew that this was a time to gather with friends, with family, to bring in, in guests from, you know, not only in the US, but internationally. Um, so my parents actually first started hosting a black tie charitable event um, in 2003. Um, then it was called the Derby Grand Gala and it lasted for a number of years. Um, one also to make sure that the diversity um, when you think about the Kentucky Derby as far as who can participate, um, they felt that with their kind of connections as far as my father playing professional basketball, they wanted to make sure that an event was there for providing that much needed diversity centered around the Kentucky Derby. So that event, um, you know, I said lasted a number of years, but for my brothers and I, we were just spectators. We would show up and ooh and odd all of the various, you know, attendees from Michael Jordan to, to kind of, you name it, to have Earth, Wind and Fire as some of the, um, some of the entertainers who graced the stage. Um, but again, it wasn't really something that we felt we could call our own. So in 2017, we felt it was time to rebrand, um, get ready for that next generation. My siblings and I have two older brothers. Um, we were coming into more leadership roles within our family business. So it being three of us and kind of taking some derby terminology, we created the trifecta. Um, and it's been that since uh, 2017 in order to showcase that new generation, you know, to make sure that the legacy my parents 
put forth as far as giving back, making sure that the platforms that they've been blessed to have also allows others to share um, with them, whether it's, you know, again, the entertainers who obviously key partners like yourself um, with the V Foundation, making sure that we're giving back, and that we're addressing um, critical things that happen in every community, not just in Louisville, Kentucky. So that was kind of the genesis of what the trifecta, you know, what we are wanting it to be um, and why why it was rebranded and kind of now controlled by, by my siblings and I. That is just incredible. Every time I hear about this event and what you guys did with it, it's just to me, I keep hearing the word courageous. And just being pioneers in that um, and just front runners in what you did. It's so inspiring. And I love seeing, like you said, the rebranding. And this is truly a top notch, elegant event. It is, um, it's just so exciting. I feel like in what I keep hearing, like it is the event to be at each year now. And so you Thank guys have done you. such a great job with that. Yeah. And I think, you know, again, we are so blessed to, attend events all year long that I, I I say I have a running kind of note um, on my phone of going to whether it's the Grammys, obviously we were at the ESPYs with you all, mm -hmm. you know, that's all of the different events. Each one kind of gives you something that you're like, you know what, I really enjoy the way they produce X, Y, and Z, whether it was hospitality, you know, our family business was built on owning and operating different restaurant concepts. So that is something we definitely always want to make sure um, we provide, you know, top notch um, service and, and food activations um, at the at the event um, to, you know, just the way that it's communicated out to everyone. You know, there's certain things that we can learn and that's what we kind of take back to our wonderful committee that um, helps us execute the event and why I think you see those elements come out because we really try to take from the best and and obviously put our own unique flair on it, um, but making sure that we're addressing all the key points um, of what, you know, we're a partner with the V Foundation. So we want to make sure um, that the event is something that, that the organization feels like, you know what, it represents the excellence that we are putting into the research and, and everything um, to be, and be victorious over cancer. I can confidently tell you it definitely does. <laughs> yeah. And one of the things I wasn't going to bring this up, but I really think, you know, you talk about hospitality and obviously we run the wine celebration out here in Napa as well. And I know that you've wanted to come. We can't wait to have you out here. I know that the Trifecta Gala is something that we're even looking at to see, you know, what things can we take from the Trifecta Gala to even make our event even better. And one of the key things that I, I saw that I love that you do is how, you know, it really isn't just another event, even the way that you deal with sponsors. And, you know, like I noticed the blip on, you know, even Coca-Cola, the way that you guys bring in the sponsors, how you bring in the sponsors, you create your unique spin on it. I think that that is one of the other things that's so amazing about this event is it truly is unique. Yeah. And we, we really want to make, you know, we say partner. We even from that, it's it's almost has to have a family and a family, you yeah. know, because um, we obviously being a, a family unit that puts on the event. Um, that's how we we look at the individuals that we say, can you come to the table with that type of mentality? Because when you do, it's a completely different experience from start to finish um, with them. So you know, it, it allows the creativity to come out so that it's not so transactional between us, but more, you know, we want to see, you know, your brand succeed. What is it that we can do? And obviously the investment into our event, um, you know, kind of is the, the give and take. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that's one of the things that makes us such wonderful partners too, is we have a very similar outlook with a lot of our partners as well. Uh, now, unfortunately, coming, you know, obviously we're airing this right before when the Trifecta Gala would be. Yes. And I know, unfortunately, this year uh, it was postponed to 2022. 
Uh, what are your plans moving forward for that? Are there any kind of exciting new outlooks for 2022, the event in 2022? Uh, any thoughts around that? Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, coming out of, you know, we'll say starting with last year, the idea that everything became online um, and the digital experience, I think so many times we think it's a, a um, instead of it being a idea that you can have both, both a live event and um, an experience digitally, it was while well, we're only focused, we're only doing it in person. We're only doing something online. So I think one of the things we're really trying to understand, because not everybody can get to Louisville, Kentucky. Um, how do we create the trifecta experience where individuals that say, you know what, due to whatever their circumstances, I can't physically attend, but I still want to either give back in a meaningful way. I want to dance along with the entertainment that we've selected, um, which actually is something I think we have the most fun about because uh, it, it always gives a healthy debate <laughs> on grace, grace to stage, um, based upon the difference of age and, and you know, musical taste and things like that. Um, but we're really trying to understand how to bring a traditional gala, if you want to say, even though we say nothing that we've done with the trifecta has been traditional, but um, just for purpose of conversation, a traditional gala into a more digital. Um, you know, experience and to be able to compete with what you've seen with the Grammys, what you've seen with a lot of these other, we'll say award shows on being able to still give the experience even if you aren't there um, in person. So those are the things that we've really been talking about. And again, the success that we've had has allowed us to have certain key conversations with individuals to make those visions into more than just a dream, but a true reality um, as we move forward. That's fantastic. Um, and again, we're having a lot of those same conversations. So I'm really excited as, as we move forward with this year to hear more about that from you. I know for sure the 2022 gala is going to be top notch regardless. Um, for this year, I do wanna thank you though. Um, you know, we have the opportunity this year, even though you can't attend the Trifecta Gala, to still donate to the V Foundation directly. So we thank you for, you know, allowing us the opportunity to promote that. So in support of the Trifecta Gala, if you'd like to donate directly to the V Foundation this year, you can text Jimmy V to 888-908-9251 in support of the Trifecta Gala. So we'll make sure to keep track of those numbers for you as well. We have, we'll have the information down below on the screen. So again, even though we can't meet for the Trifecta Gala this year, I can't wait to eventually see it uh, in 2022. Um, but in the meantime, you can donate directly to the V Foundation. So we still thank you for your continued support, Eden. No, thank you guys. Again, what you guys are doing, it's, it's an everyday focus. It's not where just because we are unfortunately not able to have the event in in person doesn't mean that the necessary funds don't need to be um, donated and put into your own hands to continue the amazing work that you are doing um, to 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 fight cancer. I mean, it affects so many. It's it's one of the the reasons, and we you know have personal family stories as far as um, cancer affecting. Um, you know, family and, and, and friends and why we, one of the reasons why we wanted to partner with the V Foundation. So no, we are, we are honored to be your all's partners and, and continue to um, bring attention to the amazing work that you guys do. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Um, and we're honored to partner with you. Uh, since we're on that topic, um, you know, I do want to get to know a little bit more about you, but we can uh, we can step into this. Why we know that on the Voices for Victory podcast, which will be coming later, we can kind of do a deep dive more into your family story and the cancer stories. But initially, why is it that you selected the V Foundation? Why us out of so many charities? Um, you know, what are your connections there? Yeah, so obviously, 
the biggest thing when we look at the charities that we're going to support is making sure that the money that is raised, um, the awareness that is brought to the cause and to the mission of the organization, you know, we want to make sure that those funds are going to be directed not to um, to the the salaries or to you know the organization itself, but more to the people that are affected of what they're championing. So knowing that a hundred percent of direct donations um, go to cancer research programs is absolutely critical in in us society, you know, for the V Foundation um, to be that partner for us. Um, second thing, obviously for us was the connection. Um, my father playing professional basketball, my brothers and I, you know, growing up playing sports. Um, it is, you know, a natural fit <laughs> for us to, to partner with you all based upon, you know, obviously the organization being founded by the late great um, Jim Balvano. And actually we've had some of the family members um, attend the trifecta, um, which was great. So, you know, the, the connection there from the sports world and all of that, you know, um, you guys do as far as being able to pull ambassadors to just that idea that, yeah, my, my, my dad playing professional basketball and kind of everything. It's a natural, natural connection. Um, but then on a more personal note, you know, being that there are certain cancers, unfortunately, that do affect the African American community at a sadly disproportionate rate. Um, mm -hmm. we've had family and, and friends, unfortunately, pass away um, from some of those cancers that, again, are are you see the effects of it more within the African African American community. Yeah. So knowing that and knowing the emphasis that you guys have put on being able to partner with key individuals um, that like Stuart Scott, unfortunately, mm -hmm. you know, the late great um, was just an extra kind of, I don't wanna say selling point, but an extra reason why we felt that your organization was the real, the real partner that we were going to need in order to address um, not only cancer at large, but obviously the cancers that are affecting individuals that look like myself and, and other family members. Absolutely. And I have to say, that's one of the reasons that I'm so proud to work for this organization as well. And just hearing the background information on what is happening with that sp specific cancer research and the focus that we have on that. I know that Mick will probably go a bit more into that when we go into the Voices for Victory podcast. So I can't wait to hear more. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for sharing your story. I would be remiss. One of the things with Behind the V, our focus here isn't just talking about our partnership, but really getting to know the people behind the V, the supporters <laughs> behind the V. And I know, obviously, we've met once or twice before. I do know, you know, one of the great things, you just inspire me so much because I know that we're about the same age. And when I first heard about all of your accolades, I sat here and I thought, I was like, I really need to get my stuff together. <laughs> no, not at all. Not at all. <laughs> so, but again, really, I mean, you've had multiple successful careers. You've run the Trifecta Galley. You help out or not help. You help run the Bridgman Charitable Group. And I know that you're also expecting a baby here soon. You know, my first question is, is when do you sleep? I will say in that that's part of our, our family motto. Um, and again, things that are born out of, you know, my parents' experiences through life is the fact that we we go into everything as a team. We make sure that the the team Bridgman, you know, motto as far as how we show up and it's a collective unit. Same thing with the trifecta. As much as, you know, I may be at the lead of putting that together. There are amazing individuals that allow my vision, my kind of hopes and dreams for what the event should be to come to life. So I say I'm able to sleep because we've been blessed with having the right individuals with us to, to kind of help us see our vision and our reality, um, or our vision become that reality. That's just so incredible. Um, you know, just thinking about 
even that response, the family and the team, you just don't hear about that as much anymore. It's so encouraging. I love that so much about your family. Um, now, obviously the background is in marketing. Have you always wanted to go into marketing or is that something that you followed through with? <laughs> I, I would say, you know, it's, it's interesting because, um, you know, when I, when it was time, you know, you're graduating high school and then it's like, we're, what are you going to go into? I actually wanted to get into fashion design um, oh. or fashion merchandising. It was like I was going to move to New York and go to Parsons or yeah. FIT. And then I was going to move to Paris and have that and, you know, just that whole experience. I would say the only reason why I didn't was there was a I don't even know if it was a magazine or book that kind of gave you an inside behind the looks of the fashion industry. And at that time, what a really good entry level fashion job was going to make in New York. I was like, oh, that's really, <laughs> I don't know if it's so much the the lifestyle of what I thought or more so you know, what I really wanted to do 24 seven. So I, I kind of quickly shifted gears <laughs> and um, really marketing kind of came through just a lot of little moments and opportunities through life that I kind of, I don't want to say I fell into it, but it was a natural progression for me to go um, in that direction. So, you know, and it's afforded me the opportunities to, dibble and dabble into some of my own personal interests, um, whether it was fashion. So I'm able to, you know, even through the trifecta and kind of what I get to wear and seeing all the different, you know, things um, centered around the Kentucky Derby, that life has a way of, of still giving you what you, you know, want to explore, um, just sometimes not in the, the way that we initially expect um, our lives to go in. That, yes, to all of that. That, is, <laughs> that was, that's great. Now, obviously, recently, you acquired Ebony and Jet magazines, which, the best news ever. What mm -hmm. are, I'm so excited to hear, what are some of your goals with acquiring those and um, how you're moving forward? If there's any changes, what are, what are your goals in, in acquiring both of those magazines moving forward? Yeah. I mean, number one, it's just, it's, it's, I still, I have to say the the feeling of waking up and just saying, I can't believe this is actually now part of what I get to do every day, that has not worn off at all. It's still a very much someone pinch me um, type of feeling because, you know, growing up, seeing these iconic brands, being able to go to the beauty salon and sit underneath and flip through these pages and you know one day you just thought maybe I would be on the jet side at a jet beauty of the week or um you know get my my anniversary with my future husband you know profiled but to now actually be able to put together a team of true just experts visionaries to kind of see how we can take a we're in year 76 of ebony um whole existence how we can lean into the history um mm -hmm. of the brand but also carve it out into a more digital focused platform and we say platform because yes we will do media but my hope and goal is that the brand itself transitions into industries and spaces that people weren't ever expecting um it to be able to move and to be that leader within the community that it once was, but again, showing up in a new way. Mm -hmm. And in that voice, um, we say for, for individuals of color that instead of someone feeling like they needed to comment or, or say what is the kind of overall feeling, now you have a home where individuals can provide that necessary commentary um, they, we can give the truth, you may not like it, but here it is, mm -hmm. you know, just that true home feeling that the brand or brands, I should say, um, should be. So we are, we have been off to the races. Um, we kind of had a rebirth moment to let the world know that Ebony, um, and Jet are going to be coming back. 
And now we're just kind of putting together all of the foundation to begin to build the business into what it needs to be. Gosh, I I think this is one of the first times on this show where I'm kind of speechless. <laughs> you, I mean, really, you are such a visionary and I'm Thank so you. excited to see what is coming forth with all of this. I truly can't wait to see everything that's gonna come out of your leadership there. It's, I know it's gonna be amazing. Thank you. Uh, so I have an, one last question for you, um, you know, before we start to wrap up, cause I know uh, we're gonna dive so much deeper when we go into the Voices for Victory podcast. But one of the things I've noticed on a lot of the research I've done is your family, I, I would say family motto, something I've seen yeah. is with great privilege comes great responsibility. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Absolutely. So. You know, my parents obviously coming from very humble means. Um, the idea that the successes that they've had um, through life doesn't mean that it's just for them. And the responsibility mm -hmm. that comes with either celebrity or fame, the responsibilities that come with wealth, um, that much is now going to be expected from you so you need to arm yourself with the, either the right people around you to steward that, to be able to, to know that it's, you know, we, we really operate within the idea of servant leadership. That if you are the person in front, you know, make sure you still have that service to the people that you are leading. That again, so many times you see people reach a certain, platform or, or level of success. And they then um, sometimes the ego or the pride or, or whatever it is kind of gets in the way of remembering, um, you know, who, who even got you there. There's no success that anyone has that cannot be traced to a number of people investing in you to get you there. So that's where I think that family motto um, from my parents, and really it stems even from grandparents and others before, but for me, I'll just say my parents, what they've instilled into my brothers and I, um, and what we try to, to lead with, because at any moment it can all be gone. But the one thing that you can still stand on is your character, who you are, and kind of how you treat others. Um, and so that's where that blessing being able to understand what you're given in the responsibility now that you you have it on being able to share it with others and steward it well. Yes, that just <laughs> gave me so many chills. I love it. Thank you. In I you know I know I've said it before. I'll say it again. It is just such an honor um, to know you. It was such an honor to meet you and. We are so grateful that you took the time to meet with us on Behind the V. I've been looking forward to this interview for so long. Thank you, no, thank you. I am I am the one that's honored and humbled. Again, you guys are are doing amazing work, and and we we want to be just your all's champions as you champion for those that that again their voice isn't able to be heard. So we we want to make sure that organizations like yourself have have the opportunity and the necessary resources to to be that voice for everyone. Well, I know that I speak on behalf of the Holby Foundation when I say thank you. And we really are so grateful to have you partnered with us. Um, so as we wrap up, I know, and I'll be putting the information, uh, you know, here on the broadcast, if you want to find out more about the Trifecta Gala, you can find out more at trifectagala.com. And once again, since we can't meet this year, um, thank you again, Eden, for allowing us to do this. We encourage, you know, you can donate directly to the V Foundation in support of the Trifecta Gala by texting Jimmy V to 888-908-9251. Like I always say at the end of each of our broadcasts, until next time, don't give up, don't ever give up.